48. Hi guys, Charlie here. Um, sorry, I was just practicing my multiplication for fun. Not really. All right guys, so I get chore money every single week from my mom by doing things around the house like putting the dishes away, taking out the trash, doing some of the laundry from around the house. Yeah, I'm adulting like that. But I'm trying to figure out how long it's gonna take for me to get these concert tickets for this summer. And with my math, it's gonna take a while. Man, do you guys ever wish that you could just have all the money to do whatever you want to do? Like, I don't wanna go crazy, I just wanna sing my heart out at a live concert. Ugh. Maybe the clubhouse can help me with my money problem. Let's go see them. Count it down with me. 10, Ten nine, 9, 8, eight 7, seven six, 6, 5, 4, four 3, three two, 2, 1! Friends, Gordo, but now I'll get you and your clubhouse. Bring it on, Waldo. <laughs> With pleasure. around here lately. Maybe there's not a lot of drama going on. Let's go inside and check it out. Okay, patters, sit. Okay, uh, patters, speak. <laughs> oh, oh, you're so cute. You're so cute. You're so cute. So cute. You hey, you. Me? Yes, you. Do you want everything your heart desires? Yes. Yes. Then you have the opportunity to win big box, box, box. Dear dollars. Oh. Just call this number with the winning answer to the winning question. Oh, we so want oh, it! Oh, but, but no matter what, we all gotta work together to share the money, right? Right. Where? All right. Where is my phone? Where's my phone? Time's running out. Better hurry and find that phone. Found it! Hello? Congratulations, you're the winning caller! Yes! Just answer the following question. What did one snowman say to the other snowman? What, is this a riddle? What did one snowman say to the other snowman? I know this, I know this. Oh, the suspense is killing me! You know you're eating sheep treats, right? Come on, Gordo, speak, speak! <laughs> oh, good boy! <gasps> Smells like Garrett! That's correct! <laughs> Money should be arriving in five seconds. What? Wow! <laughs> Money to do whatever we want. <laughs> yeah, whatever we want. Yes. We're going to college. <laughs> whoa, 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 Gordo. I said whatever we want, okay? And I promise to use this prize money to buy new shoes. Ooh. When? 10 seconds ago. Yeah, and me too. I did too for pizza. Wait, wait, wait. We have to make sure that we use this money in the best way possible. For pizza. Saving every last penny. For pizza. <laughs> like, what if, if there's a hurricane and it causes a mudslide? A pizza. <laughs> well, it looks like we have a money problem. Uh, hey, it looks like we do. <laughs> Come on, Sam. No. Put your back in. Come on. Yeah. Whoa, a money problem? I mean, I would have thought that getting a bunch of money would solve my problems, not make more of them. But what kind of big idea would help us with money? Take it, kids, stiff DJs! The clubhouse needs the big idea. Who's ready for the big idea, kid? Clubhouse needs the big idea. 
Who's ready for the big idea, kid? Save, spend, learning to treasure what matters most. Give, save, spend. If this is what me and the clubhouse need to learn, we're definitely gonna have to break that one down. Okay, let's recap. So, who wanted to spend all of their money on pizza and shoes? Cammie and Vinny, right. And who wanted to save it all? Gordo and Sam. But something tells me that learning to treasure what matters most is something that we all need to learn. Let's club time them in. Clubhouse! Yeah? Still holding on to that check, huh? <laughs> yeah, I'll let go as soon as they let me and Sam put this away for safekeeping. <sighs> Gordo, you are so boring. We're kids, we don't have to worry about saving. Yeah, I want to have fun and pizza. Did I mention pizza? Yes! yes. Look, I think saving is a good thing. See? And so is spending. Oh, ha! We right. Uh, 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 uh. Whoa, 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 wait then. Maybe we should just imagine what could happen if we just spent or just saved all of the money. Cue the dream sequence! In the darkest of the night, many, many days from now, what if all the money we spent? What a fancy life we have, don't we, Vinny? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, everything we've ever wanted, we've got right here. We have 3D touchscreen TVs with prepaid theater pay-per-view and we have a butler. <laughs> Your five o'clock shoes, madam. Did you hear that, Vinny? I'm madam. <laughs> <laughs> Your 515s are on the way. New shoes every 15 minutes? <laughs> this is so major! <laughs> hey, 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 butler? Butler? Yes. Oh, can you please give me another deep dish pizza? Excellent choice, sir. <laughs> <laughs> And what if all of Gordo and Sam's money was saved? P -p -p please Gordo, can I have some more? More? Sure, just a little bit. Only because we meal prep for the next three weeks. Saving, saving every, every last penny! penny. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm not cold. Are, are you cold? No, I'm not cold. Cutting costs on electric and heating was such a good idea. <laughs> Gotta cut costs where you can. <laughs> <laughs> and the best part, our money is safely locked away until college. Locked until graduation day. This is the life. Then what if there was a knock at the door? Hello, hello, hello. I, I, I need to get to the other side of town and I seem to have misplaced all of my remaining nickels for the bus. My dog, Skippy Poodle, is, is home sick, and, and I'd hate to leave him home alone by himself in the loud, cold storm. Do you have any spare change? Just a little will do. Uh, sick dog? Sam, remember, college funds. Sam! <gasps> Open! Open Sam to me! Graduation. Oh, Change somewhere. <laughs> oh, somewhere. Vinny, you're gonna have to move. Uh, uh, I can't get up. I'm a roly poly. It's locked up tight, Sam. There's nothing we can do. We spent all our money. I suppose we have nothing to give. End of dream sequence. That did not go well. See, I told you, dream sequences never work out for us. Aha! Waldo? I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. And all it took was a fake check for justice to be served. Wait, what do you mean fake check? I set you all up. Wait, the TV, the announcer, the check? Oh, that's correct! And it proves something that I've known about you all since the very beginning. You guys say that you like to help people, but when a little old lady comes knocking at your door, ooh, it's me, a little old lady, Skippy Poodle, the bus. 
you guys. <laughs> Had nothing left to give. Because you saved it and you spent it on yourselves. You're just as selfish as me. It's a great day! Oh, I feel terrible! I don't want to be selfish! I want to help people! Me too! Yeah, we're the clubhouse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just because we saved or spent all the money on ourselves does not make us selfish. Oh. Guys, I'm trying to figure this out too. Want to hear what I think? Please. Vinny, I think you just said a mouthful. Because this whole time I've been looking at my tour money too. Totally focused on spending it just on me and nothing else. And look, I don't think that spending is bad. <gasps> but to get a bigger picture, we should look at the verse of the month. It's something that Jesus said and we should read it. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. So let's see. Jesus is saying that our heart and our money are somehow connected and that if loving and giving to others is really important to us, but we never have the money to give to others, is it really important to us? No. But it is important to us. I know, me too, Sam. So this is why we need a plan for our money so we're ready to give. Oh, did you just say plan? Wow, Gordo, you and I get excited about very different things. Well, in this plan, you can buy shoes too. I'm in. Oh, and pizza. Yes, and, and pizza Ooh, too. Oh, you so clutch. And this is where the big idea comes in. The plan is to give, save, and spend. So let's break this down. My mom told me how this plan worked, so let's see if I remember it. God made everything, right? He made the entire world and everything in it. Every day and everything is a gift from God. And especially Skittles, right? Uh -huh. But really, we are in charge of the money that we've been given. So we have to use it wisely. So it makes sense to start off by giving back to God, right? I mean, just like Sam was saying, we all want to give back, so why not do that first? Give, check, cool. Next, we have to save enough to be ready, so. You know, for emergencies, for big things that are happening in the future, because you never know what could happen. Okay, I've got to stop eating Skittles or I'm not going to have enough for my last bowl. Which is spend. Right, we spend to live on the rest. And that is for what we need, things that we want, things that we want to get for others. So look guys, money does not have to be so complicated because we can find ways to give, save, and spend all of the time. And once we have a plan and we start practicing it, we won't have to worry about the things we need to use it for. I mean, I wanna give and I wanna save and we can make a plan to do it. <sighs> wow, this whole thing really helped. I'm gonna go recount all of the chore money that I have so far because I don't wanna miss out on giving or the concert. And you know, when I plan ahead, I can be ready for both. See you next time, guys. Bye.